Today I'm going to be sharing a lurid apothecary haul with you, but before we get started on that, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to you and your family if you celebrate or get together. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope it was relaxing and you got to enjoy good food with your family. Um, we did the two Thanksgivings. We did my husband's family in kind of the early afternoon, and then we went to my family's Thanksgiving in kind of the early evening, and then I was super excited. I came back home. I'm like, you know what? I'm putting my Christmas tree up. So we have the Christmas tree up in the background now. Um, yeah, so hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope you guys are having a relaxing, you know, start to the weekend. I know it's Friday today, but um, I was able to take the day off of work. So I'm just having a chill afternoon. I'm not doing any in-store Black Friday shopping. I did a few um black friday sales from some of the wax vendors are you guys picking anything up this weekend so far i um i shopped vintage chic scents broadway wax and bodies harmony because i really like them where else oh the pharmacist daughter i placed an order so and then obviously today is l3 so yeah let me know are you guys planning to pick anything up today um, but yeah, so let's just dive in. I made this order on November 12th. It shipped November 20th and it arrived today, the 26th. It's interesting though. So it came in this little box. I've never had a box like this before. And it shipped UPS, which I thought was kind of interesting because I think the last couple times I've ordered from Lurid, it just comes in the normal USPS. But for some reason, I don't know, it shipped UPS in like a, a little sized box that I've never gotten before. But it arrived safely and just fine. So let's see. She sends you your invoice and it looks beautiful in here. Stuffed really well. You can tell this box is gonna be perfect for her like lurid bars because that's like pretty much the shape they are. Okay, I got a few different items. Um, all right, I see right here stuffed in the corner. Here, I'll show you guys. So we have like some of the bars and then in the corner over here, I have a few samples. And I think, okay. I think one of them might be a sample I didn't buy and then one of them I did purchase, I think. So the first one is Fa La La La, Peppermint Vanilla Bean Noel Buttermint Candies. And they're in a cute little like Christmas shape. I'm not gonna smell this one right now just because I bought it in like the full size Lurid bar. So we'll smell that when we get to that one. And then the next one I got is Holiday Cheer, gingerbread cinnamon donuts, cinnamon bread pudding, which I don't believe I got this one. And here's these little shapes. These are really cute little shapes. I will say like, there's no way I would use like this single present in a warmer, it's way too small. So I'll probably use both of these pieces together, but super, super nice. And it is nice. I think she did mention in her Facebook group that she started putting the scent notes on the samples, which is amazing. And her sample bags are thick. Mm, yeah, that does definitely smell like a cinnamon bread pudding to me. That's what I get most, like a, um, cinnamon spice, a little bit of a bread note. Mmm, I like that. See, I was close to getting some, but I wanted to limit myself because I knew like at this point in time, I have a lot of holiday stuff already. So I didn't want to stock up too crazy on holiday items. Um, all right, so I got a few of her snappy bars is that what these are called yes a few of her snappy bars and i did try out her lurid bricks this time around too so the snappy bars were four dollars and twenty cents and the lurid bricks are nine dollars and ten cents and then she had this cool little bundle um, for a special price it's three of her snappy bars for eight dollars which is a great deal um so yes, let's do that first. I think I see them right on top here. So the the special deal was, oh my gosh, this wax just came in the mail. It is freezing. Um, so the bundle of three 
is a bundle of sugar plum fairy cookies and joy and boozy sweets and these snappy bars are um, three ounces approximately so these three you couldn't buy individually it was a set so here's the first one boozy sweets maple hot toddy shortbread cookie and hint of spice this is what the brick or the the snappy bar looks like and this was poured 11621. Wow, it smells shortbread. I think I'm getting the shortbread cookie. It smells very bakery like. It almost smelled like in the bag, it almost smells like a frosting to me. Here's what the bar looks like. Um, it is cold though. Oh, it's cold, so I don't really smell much of the wax, but in the bag, it smells decadent. And I, I'm not really one for like, I don't think I like maple hot toddy too much. Like if that's adding the like boozy scent to it, but I really get like a rich buttery. It almost smells like a buttercream frosting to me. I'm excited about this one. This is the only one I was kind of nervous about in the bundle, so I'm excited about that. So that's the first one. The next one is Cookies and Joy, Fraser Fur Vanilla and Frosted Sugar Cookies. Her bars are gorgeous. I haven't had one that I've been like disappointed why scent throw wise. Lured Apothecary for me is very like a very um, solid like scent. I would say it's kind of like medium. It can be medium to, to strong, but I would say it more is on the medium like strength to me, but very consistent like throughout like, you know, the, the hours that it's going. So, so far I've really been enjoying Lurid. So cookies and joy. Okay. This one I think is really light or it's just really cold and I'm not smelling it completely. Look at how beautiful this brittle is. Well, lure, snappy bar, I guess is what she calls them. So pretty. Poured 11.6 as well. I think I might have to come back to this one. I have to say like I'm not smelling much on cold. This one, this one's a little bit light, but I'm gonna revisit that one. And then the last one in the bundle is Sugar Plum Fairy. I was really excited about this one. Pear, Vanilla, Spun Sugar, and Hint of Cherry. I think it's funny though that it's called Sugar Plum Fairy and there's no like sugar plum scent note. There's another one that I got that does have a sugar plum scent note, but yes. So this one again was poured 11.6. This is pretty. This is really pretty. It, it actually gives me a little bit more of a summer scent. I think I am getting that pear. Hint of cherry is, I really do think it's a hint. Sometimes vendors say hint of cherry and all you smell is cherry in the wax. But I really do think the pear is the stronger note here. It's really beautiful. Here's the back. This is so pretty. I love this one. This is the one that I was most excited about in the bundle. That is gorgeous. The pear is really, really pretty. Spun sugar, hint of cherry. I love this. It, the pear is almost giving me like a fresh apple vibe, but I know it's pear. It's not like a Mac apple, but it's just a juicy pear. Juicy, bright, fresh pear. I don't know. I love this one. All right, now let's go on to the single snappy bars. So these were individual, not a bundle or anything. So the first one is Sugar Plum Macaron. So this is Sugar Plum Macaron Cranberry, poured 11.4. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I do love, it almost, it kind of reminds me of the beautifulness of Sassy Girl Ar Aroma Brittles as well. Like they, these two vendors, it is just gorgeous. Like look at all these. Okay, so Lurid, why did I just say that? Lured Apothecary. Yes, I'm doing Lured Apothecary. Why didn't I get a Lured brick of this? This is so 
beautiful. Honestly, I might have to go onto our website and see what's left. This is so pretty. Unlike anything I've ever smelled before, I feel like such a pretty winter fruit scent. Because sometimes I think fruit is just too summery, but the sugar plum, the cranberry, it just, it seems like a really nice bright, but winter fruit scent, if you know what I mean. I want more of this so bad. This is what it looks like. So pretty. This is like a unicorn bar. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. You definitely get like the fruits more, the plum and the cranberry. I'm not sure what the macaron note is supposed to add. Maybe just that's kind of more of the blender note in this one, but this is so good. Like I said, after this, I want to go check if she has more of that. The next one is Christmas Cookie Battle. Sugar cookies, cane sugar, buttercream, hint of maple. And she, her bars are really unique. She decorates with glitter, but she also decorates with little like, I don't even know what these are, but I've never seen any other vendor do this. I'll show you. Ooh, that is yummy. I definitely do get like the buttercream and maple. I'm smelling that a lot. So here's this bar. See what I mean? She has like, these aren't glitter. I'm not sure what they are, but she does that a lot with um, her wax bars and it is so cute. It almost reminds me like, is it, is it like a little eraser thing? Like, I'm not sure what it is, but it's so cute. It adds such a unique touch that I've never seen from any other vendor. So pretty. So yeah, this is good. A, a nice, good, like, you know, bakery kind of a scent. Um, I just figured why not? I love bakery. The next one is Oh Christmas Tree. You guys, I am like, this stuff is so pretty. So Oh Christmas Tree, Pink Sugar and Balsam. That's what that looks like. That's pretty. Right off the bat, I think I'm getting more balsam. But there is something, it's not full on like super strong in your face like Christmas Tree Balsam. So I think the pink sugar is just blending really nice to make it just a little more sweet. Here's what this bar looks like. That's pretty though. It does give me more Christmas tree vibes though. I like it. This one's good. So this is, like I said, this is one of my outstanding orders that I didn't have before I filmed my Christmas wax collection. So some of these will probably end up getting added to my wax collection bin for Christmas scents. The next one is Santa's Workshop, Balsam, Candy Cane, Vanilla, and Spice. So I do get a little bit of the balsam. I do get a little spice. I'd say candy cane is light. If I'm smelling it, it's definitely not nose clearing. It's more of that creamy, dusty, kind of chalky mint. Lightly Christmas tree and then the spice. I think that's what I'm getting most. Oh, oh, whoa. The corner of this one is breaking off a little bit. I don't know if you can see right there. So I don't want that to, oh, all right, <laughs> oops. Okay, so here's what this one looks like. Again, she has those really cute, like, plasticky, like, I don't know, embeds? I don't know, they're super cute. That's nice. Not too strong on the crisp, like the balls of note. So that's nice. Like, I don't think it's gonna be like overwhelming. You could easily do this after Christmas and I don't think it'd be screaming like, you know, pine or crisp or, you know, balsam like in your face. It's a nice blend. So that one was Santa's workshop. All right, now we're getting into, I got a few different um, lurid bricks. So I haven't tried these before, but I know these are kind of new. Um, so the first one I got is Fa La La La. So this is the one I got my sample in. And this is the comparison between the bricks and the snappy bar. So they're definitely a lot taller and they're definitely a lot thicker. I don't know if you can see the thickness. I'd probably say it's like 
double the thickness. Yeah, I don't know. So these are three ounces. These are supposed to be like between 6.5 to seven ounces. So these are definitely like much bigger. Um, just as gorgeous. So again, this one's peppermint, vanilla bean, Noel, buttermint candies. I just thought this would be a great bedtime, you know, Christmas, or not Christmas, but minty bedtime blend. Whoa! I dropped it. Okay. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm pretty sure, so if you guys heard that, I dropped this bar onto my other pile. So I'm pretty sure I'm the one who just broke this next one, but I'll show you. I'll show you when we get to that one. This is really pretty, definitely creamy. To me, this is nowhere near nose clearing. I would say if I didn't know it's peppermint, I would think it was just vanilla bean Noel and buttermint candies because it's more of a creamy mint scent, not nose clearing. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty for the bedroom. Just a nice creamy mint. So that's what this one looks like. The next one is cozy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I just broke this. It's broken right here and down here. I think I just broke that when I just dropped this bar on top of it. Because this was squished in between these two bricks, so it would be super weird if the middle one broke but not the outside ones. Okay, Cozy is a sweater weather type. So I warmed Rose Girls' what is it, Lambo Leap, and completely was like, why haven't I gotten more sweater weather blends? I loved it. So then when I saw she was doing a sweater weather type, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a big bar of this one because I really, really enjoyed it when I warmed the Rose Girls one. Oh yeah, this is, this is so good. This totally brings me back to the Bath and Body Works candle. Oh yeah, this one's super good. So I'll take out a little, my little corner that, of this bar. Look at how pretty those glitters are. I don't know if you can tell, it's like a gray and a dusty light blue. So pretty. This is a great dupe. I think it's really spot on. And then my last Lurid Apothecary, um, Lurid Brick, is Jingle Bell Rock. Sweet Candy Cane, Peppermint Fluff, and pepper Peppermint Twist. So I wonder if this one's gonna be stronger on the mint, but I don't know because of the like, the the peppermint fluff, the twist, the candy cane. Like I, I don't feel like that's like a nose. Well, we'll see. Oh, wow. So it's way different than this blend, the peppermint, vanilla, bean oil, and buttermint candy. Um, but you know, this one actually leans like really herbally to me. It, it gives me way more like peppermint leaf vibes. So it's not like a, a candy cane that you would like eat during the holidays. It smells more like, like I said, like herbal, like the, the peppermint leaf is what I'm smelling in this one. Look how pretty that is. Again, with these cute, like whatever these embeds are, but they just, they make the bar so beautiful. These are gorgeous. Huh, that is so interesting. I feel like I haven't like smelled that in a peppermint blend before that doesn't preface like peppermint leaf. Um, I thought this was gonna be way more like candy cane like, but this is a little bit more herbal. Interesting, all right. So that was everything I got from Lurid Apothecary. Let me know if you picked anything up. I've been I have been enjoying my Lurid Apothecary. For some reason, it's not like the first thing I grab in my collection. But then when I warm something from Lurid, I'm like, wow, this is really beautiful. And it's doing like really great. Even if it smells light in the, on the, like on cold, I usually end up being pretty impressed when I warm things from Lurid. So definitely check them out. Um, and yeah, look out for more videos. I think I'm gonna have today so this was like i said this was delivered with usp ups so it came at a different time but i should have a few more packages delivered today as well so i'll try to put up a few more videos either today or tomorrow and then i would like to try to do a chop and chat this weekend as well if i'm able to and then i also have empties that i want to also film 
Um, so yeah, look out for a few more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I did see, I think I've reached um, 400 subscribers. So that was super exciting. That totally made my day. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and commenting. I love talking with you. I'm definitely thankful for all of you guys for watching and interacting with me. It's so much fun. It br brings me so much joy in the day to talk with you guys on YouTube, Instagram. Um, I've, I've met like so many different friends. So just thank you guys so much. And thank you so, mu so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.